Biden just gave an hour long press conference with no notes, no teleprompter, no knowledge of the questions beforehand. And he executed it perfectly. He got tough questions and gave great answers. He talked in depth about foreign policy and the issues facing the United States. So can we get over this? Biden's too old. Can we get over this? He's not fit to serve. That is a man who just talked in depth about China, Russia, Ukraine, domestic policy, foreign policy, issues facing the entire world. Are you kidding me? Like, I would love to see Donald Trump try to keep up. I would love to see Donald Trump try to talk about the things that President Biden just articulated at that press conference. So it's time for us, the Democrats, to unite and support President Biden. This is a man who is competent. He's uniquely qualified to be president, and I am excited to vote for him. President Biden just gave an hour long press conference with guys. You saw that. You see this. You see this. This kid Harry here. I don't know if there's enough money in the world to make me say the 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 bullshit that comes out of his mouth. It's not enough money in the world. This boy, this kid, young man, have to be getting blackmailed. They got to have some chop kitty, you know, coin on his laptop. They got him getting screwed over in the back alley by a man or something. They got to have some serious blackmail on this young boy, this young man, to even to be as confident as he was about that press conference last night. You was with me live, guys, last night watching that big boy press conference with Joe Biden. As much as we laugh about that press conference, ain't nowhere in the world that anybody, I don't care who you are, was confident that he could keep not not just run for 2024 while he's still in office today. They should have revoked all the, the 25th Amendment last night. Let alone have him be the candidate for 2024 going into the election going in November. The him, Harry set Sisson to sit up and have that video and saying he did a great job last night. He's talking about Russia, Ukraine, where he called Vice President Harris, Vice President Trump. He called President Zelensky of Ukraine, President Putin. So many gaffes and gifts and, and lo losing his mind and just rambling on last night. No confidence in the world. If you do any Democrat party, I'm to a point... Like I said, why have you revoked the 25th Amendment? Or who are we going to replace them with? There's zero reason. It's not even a... If no, I'm not sure we laughed about it. We are Trump. We're going for America. We can laugh. As an American inside, I'm pissed off and embarrassed as hell that that man is the leader of the free fucking world. Excuse my friends, but I'm ticked off. And this little snot-nosed little punk we can unite. Joe Biden's a candidate. He did great things. But Trump, I wish Trump could do that. Trump can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Harry, if he get reelected, I hope you're the first one to get your go to the MEP station, military entry processing station, sign up for the army, and take your ass to the front row to Ukraine. Because that's where you're going. I don't want his shit when you get drafted up to go to World War III. I don't want to hear the crying. And you better not be kicking and screaming neither trying to say no make sure you're the first one to sign up don't be don't be dodging the draft or nothing make sure you are happy to go take your ass to ukraine china or taiwan whatever we wars and battles we're gonna be into make sure you fight i don't want to see no i, I, I ain't fighting no war i ain't going there. I, I got drafted but i ain't going uh -uh. nope if Joe Biden and these Democrats get reelected for 2024, make sure you're the first one. You don't dodge that draft, baby. You take your ass on the front lines. Did this make no sense to anybody? I don't. It's not enough money in the world to say he he was he he he, he looks strong. He's a leader and he's a candidate for 2024. No way in hell anybody with a right mind. It's not enough money in the world to believe that nonsense. But. At the same time, it's like I said, we saw what happened last night. We all saw it. You saw the video. I got it on my channel. You see the whole big boy press conference. It's, it's the whoo. 
I'm embarrassed. You are as well. We all are. And like I said, just we will open the highlights from last night because it was like I'm laughing. I'm like, do do we know who he's talking about? Is he is he even know what he's saying? He had the teleprompters. He had the the cards. He had everything possible to make it. The training wheels on everywhere, and he still effed it up. He still effed. this that last that press conference was much in my eye ten to hundred times worse than the presidential debate against Donald Trump a couple weeks ago. A hundred times worse. One hundred percent the worse than the president debate. You can't tell me different. At the same time, Democrats, no, no, don't jettison him now. You know that man was gone years ago. We knew he was gone years ago. 2020, he's running for, you run for president. There's a reason why you kept that man in the basement. He wasn't asking no questions. He wasn't in the press. He wasn't, in the, he wasn't out with the public. He was campaigning in his basement in 2020. Because Trump was the president and everybody in COVID and Trump was bad, you you took advantage of that. You didn't have to bring him out to answer questions or talk to the media or public and stuff. Trump bad, Trump bad, both for Biden. That's all you had to say. He ain't had to say nothing. He ain't had to talk about policies much. He could just say Trump bad. That was it. But now, he's the president. It's so long the last three years. Oh, but what about Trump, 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 Trump? People don't want to hear about Trump because Trump been in power. People are losing their home, livelihood, 401k, fucking credit cards are maxed out. People don't know how they're going to scrape for the next meal, where they're going to live at. Jobs are being gone. Many billions and billions and trillions are being sent overseas. Our borders have been invaded. People don't hear about Trump. They're asking you, why did it get so bad Biden under your watch? And what are you doing about it? You can't just keep, uh, oh, Trump, oh, Trump, oh, Trump, Trump. I, I ain't working no more. And now people are seeing how bad you are, how bad your mind is gone. You mumbling and stumbling, do sentences and stuff. You can't even remember anything, you even when you got it right in front of you. Nah, it's not going to work anymore. Right now, Donald Trump is using that to mock your age and your memory. How do you combat that criticism from tonight? Listen to him. This concludes tonight's press conference. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. That's your president. That's that's your president. That is your president of the United States. Ain't mine. Mm-mm, no, no, no. That's your president. That it's your president of the United States. And the embarrassing thing about it, like I said, we can laugh, we can have a good time about it, but goddamn, I w- I'd love them to be the ticket for 2024. But at the same time, me being American is like, uh, we this man is a national security goddamn risk like a mug. You see China, Russia, North Korea, India. You see the Saudi Arabia. These countries looking at us like, America's not a serious country no more, guys. We're going to have to come together and figure it out together. Because we can't depend on America to do nothing. 